Well, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you for joining us, whether it is this evening or perhaps you're watching this a little bit later. I first met Father Miguel when he came to Platteville, I believe, in 2007, and we worked together at that time on putting a new sound system in at uh, St. Mary's in Platteville. So we've known each other for a number of years. Well, this is certainly exciting because one of the facts is, is that Hearing loss is an invisible disability. When you meet someone, you don't know if they have hearing loss or not. How could you possibly know? And so approximately 48 million Americans live with hearing loss every single day. And when you live with hearing loss, trying to concentrate on what has been spoken, what has been said can be extremely fatiguing. And certainly, you may not catch everything that has been said. And so hearing loops are a wonderful way to help with this. And most people have not heard about hearing loops. This is a technology that actually is fairly old. This goes back to landline telephones, back all the way back to the 1950s. In landline telephones, there was a little tiny coil of wire inside the handset with the cord, the curly cube cord that connected to your phone, there was also a little tiny coil wire inside the hearing aid. And that is called a telecoil. And for short, a lot of people call it a T coil. So when people spoke on the telephone in their homes, they were not listening to the little speaker in the handset. They were listening to the audio coming through a magnetic field between the two little telecoils between the handset and their hearing aid. Back in the 1970s, the British began to experiment with how can we possibly make this work in a larger room or a larger setting? They finally managed to perfect this in the 1990s. And then we had a quantum leap forward in technology to make this work in large rooms by the mid 2000s. Well, one of the concerns was, will this work everywhere? That answer is yes. Would you believe that your hearing aids equipped with a T-coil that's been enabled or cochlear implants will work anywhere around the globe once you see the hearing loop sign? And so, because there is a standard, there is a standard for hearing loops. So that's part of the beauty. The other thing is you don't need external equipment in order to take advantage of listening to sound through a hearing loop. Hearing loops are prevalent all over Northern Europe. Matter of fact, in many countries, they are required by federal law in many public places. And this benefits the citizens uh, that live in those countries. And it finally got here to our US shores in 2010, and several companies around the United States, not in every state yet, have begun to install this wonderful uh, hearing assistance technology that acts very differently. The hearing loop that is here in your parish is actually located on the floor of the church. You will notice that in front of some of the pews, you will find a clear tapered vinyl covering that underneath it has a flat copper wire. This looks like gift ribbon. This is actually wire that's carrying a very low level of electrical current and produces a magnetic field. The rest of the hearing loop in church is concealed underneath the carpet so you don't see it. So most people probably would not even notice that it's there in church. It simply turns on and works every time the church sound system is turned on. Now hearing loops work very differently. Father mentioned FM hearing assistance, which is a radio signal that is transmitted from a base station connected to the sound system. It's transmitted out into the nave, into the sanctuary, and people would wear then a box or a personal receiver like this, and they would attach 
some sort of form of listening device to it, an accessory like earbuds or headphones or something of that nature. Hearing loops are different. Hearing loops are a magnetic field, a magnetic field. One of the reasons why hearing loops are so wonderful is the fact you don't need external equipment or boxes or cables to receive this form of hearing assistance. You simply need to be able to communicate with your audiologist or your hearing provider. And we'll learn much more about this tonight from a new intersection of this. And they have the ability, if your hearing aid is equipped with a T-coil, it can be enabled or activated, and then your audiologist will make settings that are appropriate for your level of hearing loss. And so this is really wonderful because think about it, each person's hearing loss is unique to that individual. And so by using the hearing loop, you're using your own hearing aid, your own personal prescription that benefits you, that helps you be able to understand spoken word and singing. But it is very, very important that if you decide to adopt wearing hearing aids, that you do ask the audiologist about telecoils and T-coils. And most audiologists will inform their patients about this and what their options are. But here at the parish, the hearing loop is active. The sound is picked up out of the magnetic field. For example, when Father is celebrating Mass or delivering his homily, when he speaks into a microphone, that sound goes into the magnetic field in the sanctuary, and then the user simply turns on the telecoil setting in their hearing aid, and then the room acoustics or any outside background noise that really is annoying goes away or is greatly diminished. Think about that. If you didn't have to cope with background noise in your hearing aid, and you could really sit back and be comfortable and listen to Father's homily without straining to understand, what a wonderful gift that would be. And a hearing loop delivers that level of comfort, which is really good. One of the things that I recommend is that folks ask me all the time, Okay, now what do I need to ask my audiologist? What do I need to do? And one of the ways to make it very easy is in the parish office, there are cards that look just like this. And these are actually instructions for the audiologist. All you really need to do is say, we have a hearing loop at my church now. Can you help me out? And your audiologist will know what to do. You don't have to know any details about how a hearing loop works. You don't have to know about telecoils or be uh, really knowledgeable about hearing aids. You only need to be able to give your audiologist this card, and that pretty much says it all in terms of what your needs are. And your audiologist will help you from there. So the fact that we don't have to wear external boxes and cables and equipment, we don't have to do anything other than turn our T-coil enabled hearing aid on and off. And there's different ways to do that. And I think I'll let Nui explain some of the ways that, that T-coils can be activated within hearing aids. There's different, some folks use their cell phone, others use a remote, others may have buttons on their hearing aid. And Nui this evening will explain how that works. Our hearing loops safe. I get asked that question all the time. Yes, indeed, they are safe. The level of magnetic field and the level of tiny level of electrical current that we use to create this hearing loop is such a low level that it is less than the magnetic field by walking on the grass outside the Ursal magnetic field. So it's actually weaker than walking outside on the grass and feeling the earth's magnetic field. So it's completely safe. So if somebody has a pacemaker 
or an implanted medical device, you need not worry. It is completely safe. And so that's another wonderful uh, aspect about this. Now you can go anywhere and you can have the advantage of a hearing loop in any venue or any place that you go. I didn't bring a large version, but if you take a look here, you can see a sign that has a blue background and it has the shape of an ear and a capital T. That is the international symbol that that particular room or building has a hearing loop within that building. And all you need to do is look for the signs because the American with Disabilities Act requires that there's signage to indicate that there's a hearing loop there. And you just turn on your T-coil setting and your hearing aid and enjoy listening to the events that are taking place without the background noise or other things that might hinder speech intelligibility. Please call us or visit our website today to learn more.